protect yourself while outside this summer. That's right. It's heating up. And Aaron Gottlieb, he's the owner of Native Sun, and he's joining us again in the Native Sun kitchen. And we're the food for thought segment today is about you know, with the sun coming out. Obviously, the players last week sunscreen and what is safe and what you should be looking to not use. Right? Yes, that is correct. You know, I was in Hawaii at a family vacation um, when my daughter was four, so about 14 years ago, and they banned sunscreen at the resort. Wow. And so I had to take it up front and go, is this okay? And we were using natural sunscreens with zinc and um, with titanium dioxide. And they said, those are okay. But the uh, oxys, the, the chemicals that they use in synthetics, was causing um, uh, marine life to have cancer, wow. tumors in the uh, turtles, and dead coral. And so that got me thinking about what is it doing to ourselves? Yeah. So yeah. chemical versus mineral is really important then. It is. You know, the, the problem is, is we associate the um, minerals with titanium dioxide and zinc, which are the two active ingredients. And we think of someone putting sunscreen on and they've got completely white face uh, mm -hmm. that they can't get off and it won't rub in and go into their skin and give them natural skin color. So at the end of the day, they now make them with nanoparticles. And some people find it controversial, um, and other people find it great. So why, what's, nanoparticles. Why, what's, the, what's the controversy? So they know titanium is safe. And they okay. know that zinc is safe for our bodies. And they also know that those are the two best protectants um, from UV and UVA. Okay. Uh, the problem with it is, is it doesn't break down on the skin very well. And when they use nanoparticles, a much finer, I think it's uh, 20 parts equal to uh, the size of a hair. Uh, so you could stack them up. And so what ends up happening is, is um, they co cover the skin much better. Yeah. And so by covering the skin much better, you actually get better protection from nanoparticulate than you do from the uh, synthetics. Okay. And I got a chance to try these actually before the show. I tried two different ones mm -hmm. that are two of your favorites here. There's one that's a liquid and one that's a spray just to try. And one that was the, um, the liquid here, it, it actually rubbed in quite nicely and it went a lot further, I think, than most sunblocks. Right. And so that was a really big thing. That's the one that's, uh, was it this one here? Yes. This one here was really fabulous. I thought that was a big deal here and so, then also the spray I put that on and you know sprays are really difficult sometimes and I put that on the other and it dries in immediately right I really really like both of those well what I like about them too is is the sprays much lighter and people are used to it for ease but yeah. when you think about spraying those other chemicals they have xenoestrogens in them which are plant-based estrogens that don't leave the body very I'm mean, synthetic estrogen mm -hmm. sorry yeah that don't leave the body very easily mm -hmm. um, and so that when you spray with this you don't get that and you get the titanium dioxide without the effects of of all those other chemicals that will end up disrupting hormones and causing, we, we, we don't know, but we know that they're cancer causing in general. Mm -hmm. So when you get them from different places in the environment, you have a lot of concern. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, so good. let's uh, let's walk to folks. We've got some products here. Right. What should people be putting on their skin uh, and what shouldn't they? Well, you know, I, on the sunblock, it was real easy. You want to stick with titanium and you want to stick with zinc. Uh, when you see nanoparticles, uh, I wouldn't be so afraid of them because they're going to help, help them work. But if you go out in the sun and you do get burned, it's what do you do? when you come home. Uh, and so there are homeopathics that use calendula, which is a marigold flower, and it takes the sting out of a sunburn. Okay. Um, and so if you have anything in your first aid kit, that would be great. Um, in addition, people usually have vinegar in yep. their um, cupboard, and apple cider vinegar, when you put it in a bath, a cup to a hot bath, um, it'll end up heal making the uh, healing process go quite a bit quicker. Um, Tea bags. People don't think about it, but they have them around the house. But a black tea bag, uh, if you brew it, let it cool, obviously. Yeah. But a cold tea bag that is, that is wet, when you put it on uh, the eyelids, it'll help the stinging out of the eyelids really? or any of the intense burn on the body. Okay, and you have Epsom salt as well? Epsom salt ba baths actually just start the healing process better. So what a lot of people do is they'll take an Epsom salt bath, which is soothing in itself, and they'll add lavender. Uh, and they'll add about 30 drops to 60 drops of lavender into a hot bath with Epsom salt, and that also heals the burn and takes the sting out. Mm, good All stuff. right, a couple of things here. We got coconut water, but I also want to hit before we get away the, the skeeters. We gotcha. Got, uh, Prangley's got a skeeter meter, but uh, some natural skeeter repellent, right? Yep. Well, so as far as the coconut water, if you go out in the sun, and you get burned, you're gonna end up getting dehydrated yeah. while your body's trying to heal. So coconut water is a great thing to drink while you're on the beach, but in addition, they now make dried coconut water with turmeric, which is an anti-inflammatory, uh, and they add other uh, sea salts, which give you a better mineral balance. And so this will help your body heal much better if you're uh, prone to getting burned. These are actually like powder, right? That's so absolutely, you just, you just add a- Put it in your, in your water bottle. Yes, there's a measuring Very spoon cool. in it, and you, that's how you use it. Very and then cool. lastly- this guy. A lot of people don't want to put added chemicals on their body. And my thing is, is it's whether you're scared of DEET, whether you just don't want to put an, anything on your skin, there, we don't know exactly what to worry about on its own. But we know as a cocktail, 
we're going to have a lot of new chemicals in our yeah. body that our immune systems try to fight off. So I thought if you don't want to use sunscreen, this patio egg is probably one of the most uh, famous, uh, popular items in our stores right now. And the active chemical comes from citronella. And just putting on your patio will ward the bugs away without the smell. I'm getting a couple of those for the front porch because we sit out on it a lot in Springfield. And it, Appreciate it, man. Hey, thank care you. Of the whole front porch, which is good. Yeah, All absolutely. Right. We want to thank Native Sun for being here and sharing this great information. And you can visit their locations in Bay Meadows, Mandarin, and Jacks Beach. Or just check out their website, which is nativesunjacks.com.